Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your January 2018 monthly reading. Happy New Year! What do we have for Taurus for January 2018? It is Mercury, Mercury Retrograde. And Mercury Retrograde, while I'm recording this, messes with your speech. So please bear with me. <laughs> I will zoom this in once I have the cards laid out. A cycle is ending, okay, and you know that. You know a cycle is ending. It is January 2017, 2018. Yes, I'm having a heck of a, I have to tell you, this is my fourth time trying to do your reading. So there is definitely something going on, okay? I think there's a lot of uh, chaos this month of January. There's a lot of distractions, and I really want you guys to be aware that you will have lots of distractions this week. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, I'm, I, there's lots of problems. I've been having many, one right after another. One right after another. So that's what your January is going to be like, just so you know. You're going to have one issue right after another. Because I, like I said, this is my fourth time trying your reading, and that never happens, ever. So... This month of January, there is, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Cycles are ending. Things are changing. You are letting go of something that no longer serves you. You are freeing yourself. A bond is being broken in January. Like I said, this is my fourth time. I got through about half of the other reading, so I know what that reading said. A bond is being broken. You had the devil... Um, as well reversed okay so a bond is being broken and it is meant to be it is a blessing in disguise it feels like you're starting a brand new chapter of your life you are one lesson has been learned something that no longer served you there was some kind of deceit some kind of lies something in the past that has been breaking you apart and I feel like that is over. I think that many of you are releasing something in your, this year is going to be a year of train or this month. Well, obviously it's going to be a year because those words came out. This month is going to be a month of transformation. In the other uh, reading I just did, it was transformation. A lot of it was. I saw a major transformation for you guys. And with the chariot card, it's pretty. that's a transformation as well. I, and we have the strength reversed as well. So many of you are going to have to muster up the strength within you. Like I said, I've had many distractions to, during this reading. This tells me that you are going to have distractions the month of January and you are going to have to struggle through it and you are going to have to slow down. And the reason I say that is because I've been trying to speak too fast and something inside of me is saying slow down. So I'm going to tell you that you are going to need to slow down this January, okay? You have the resources to succeed. You do. Whether you are willing to use them or not is up to you. You are going to have to refocus on your future. If you, if the thing is, is something is leaving, whether you like it or not. Some bond is being broken. A bond is being broken that no longer serves you. It's going to bring you some depression, okay? It's going to bring you some depression. It's going to bring you some sadness. You may feel like moping. You may feel like crying. You may have emotional outbursts. You may feel guilty of something. You may feel like, I can't get through this. You know, there's going to be periods of depression. And I say this because in my last reading, I know what it said. Okay? I feel like, you know, there's going to be periods of sadness, but it's a blessing in disguise. Okay? It is. Whatever, whatever sadness this is, is going to lead you to something much, much better. Okay? There's a lesson that needed to be learned. When the world card comes out, there was a major lesson that needed to be learned, okay? So 
celebrate it. Celebrate the lesson, even if it hurts. Whatever lies were going on, it's over now. It's over. And, you know, even though, even though it hurts to let go, it will catapult you into a new phase of life. It will. I feel like it's the end of tension. Something has ended and the tension is gone. All right? It's going away. The tension with another person, okay, is gone. A cycle has ended with another person. But you're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel down. You're going to feel like you can't get through this. But you know it had to go. So deep down, you know it had to go. All right? But... You weren't quite ready to let it go, but you were, okay, because that's what it was. You wanted to let it go, but now that it's gone, it's like, oh my God, you might have some regrets, okay? I see some regrets. I feel like um, whatever comes crashing down, whatever ends, was meant to be. It is a blessing in disguise. It is going to um, make you feel insecure at first. Okay, and unstable, but in the end, it's going to bring you something much better. And it could be, you know, a new, new support, a new, a new love. Okay, but the thing is, is you're gonna have to master your emotions, and you are going to be on a roller coaster this month because the chariot is mastering emotions and the strength is mastering emotions. One is upright, one is not. This will be a month of ups. And downs so be ready for it okay I think you're gonna and more 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 likely you're gonna be very um, unexcited okay you're gonna be like withdrawn I feel like you're gonna go through some periods of withdrawal and wanting to be alone I feel like you're gonna have some regrets and I just really have to point that out and I'm sorry that this isn't the most positive reading but I have to say what what it, what I see I feel like there's there's a need to um, let go of somebody that no longer serves you. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, could be a Capricorn. We have. I want to tell you the signs. We have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have Gemini. We have Capricorn. We have Cancer. We have Leo again, um, and that's when we have Pisces. So anyway, I think that we, that many of you will be letting go of something and it is going to hurt. A bond is going to be broken that is, you know, you've been tied to for a really long time. But it's a blessing in disguise and it will, and it's a major completion that must happen, okay? So a cycle is ending and it's bringing you something better. And that's what I see, you know. It's pretty intense, I have to tell you. There's there's intense energy here and there's like a feeling of feeling lost. You may feel lost, like you did something wrong that you can't take it back. You know, there's regrets, there's uh but you're gonna do it anyway. So keep going. Do the right thing for you. In the other reading, we had the justice card and we had the death card and we had the hero font. Do the right thing for you. Continue on your path. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Even if it hurts. And in the other reading, I saw that you guys would be standing alone. Okay? So many of you will be making a call, doing something on your own. So speak your truth, even if your voice shakes. You know what I mean? Do what's right for you, even if it's not right for anybody else. Okay? Love yourself to that extent. Okay? I feel like for somebody, um, expect the unexpected. Okay? You really need to expect the unexpected. We have three fives here. Five, five, five. That's expect the unexpected. You never know what could happen. You could run into some power struggles this month. Um, and whatever's happening is divinely guided, okay? There's divine guidance here that will bring about major life changes. Let go of the old. And you are. I think many of you, are, a bond is being broken this month. You've decided it's over. Or they have. Somebody has decided that it is over. We had all these cards in the last spread, every single one of them. 
Okay. So, and I did shuffle. You just saw me. So many of you are, are closing one door. You're closing a door that, you know, no longer serves you. You're closing that door and it is definitely going to be a struggle. There could be some addictions, big time, some obsessions. And addictions, they can come in many forms. Sex, drugs, alcohol, money, spending, eating. You know, uh, you know, or it could be a, dic a codependency, you know, to another person. So I feel like many of you are, something is going away and you will start to feel more grateful for everything you have. There's a lesson to be learned here. And I think that there's going to be some regrets. There's going to be some regrets and that you're going to have to struggle through it. You are. I feel like you are going to be completely withdrawn, and I'm sorry. There will be some depression. Um, there could be a change in home as well. If um, Now, for you or another person, so somebody could be moving in or moving out of your home. All right? But I do see that it's it's a wake-up call. Whatever is happening, is is it's a wake-up call. It needs to happen. It does. This is the judgment card. It feels like there's like some absolution here. It's like somebody is seriously going away. And I'm not sure if that's a passing away. I'm just saying. I have to I have to throw that out there. I feel like somebody is going away and you might have some regrets. So if there is somebody in your family, and I don't like to give messages like this, but I'm going to. If there is somebody in your family that you need to say, I love you, I suggest you do it. Be grateful for the time that you have with them now. Okay, it's a time of forgiveness, and I saw that in the other reading too. It is a time of forgiveness, and this is forgiveness as well. Okay, offer the love, offer the love, master your emotions. Okay, if you have a pride issue, if you have an ego issue, if you know you can't say I love you because of pride, let that go. All it takes is mastering your emotions. Okay. Excuse me, I have to take a drink. You have to let go of any animosity. All right? If you have some animosity next against someone, let it go. Let it go. Okay? It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat. Take the lead. If in, Even if somebody doesn't forgive you, you forgive them. Okay? It's, I see this is going to be a month of struggle, internal, internal struggle because something is leaving and I think that there's going to be some regrets here. You know, you may feel guilty and I'm telling you that this too shall pass. And I saw in the other reading that by summertime you should be feeling on top of cloud nine. And you know, I know that's six, that's six months away. But I have to tell you that whatever happens this January, something is leaving that is going to serve your highest good. Okay? You are about to start a new chapter in your life. Um, I see that, and it's a beautiful one. It's a major new beginning. It's like one phase of your life is completely ended and you are about to start another one. So this month, I think that, you know, it's a time of forgiveness. It's a time of saying, I love you. It's a time of um, struggle, unfortunately. Okay, we have this tower card. Something is going to crash down that may bring some challenges some, some tension, some instability to your life. Okay? That's what I see. That's what I see. I mean, whatever. I have to tell you what it is. Um, I'm not going to make it all pretty if it's not. You know, not every month is going to be a beautiful month. That's just the way it is. I feel like um, a cycle is ending that must end. All right, it must end. It's gonna. It's bringing you to a much better spot. And you know, it is January 2018. So many of you are letting go of something, or somebody is letting go of you, and it is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt, and you're gonna have to struggle through it. And it will lead you to a new chapter. All right, you may be uh, thinking about moving physically. You know, you may decide. All right, it's time for me to move physically, like out of here. I'm getting out of here. It's time for a big change. All right. 
many of you are going to start to be more grateful, more grateful than you've ever been in your life. I see a spiritual awakening for some. Many of you are going to start to open up spiritually more than ever. Okay. so many distractions there has this reading has been about distractions so pay attention there will be distractions this month and you may feel overwhelmed and withdrawn and like this is too much to handle but you are being called to master your emotions love yourself and forgive 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 interesting Woo! Wow. that's a good one I can't say it's not I'm just gonna turn these a little bit and zoom it in a little bit more for you the first card is have confidence this is from Doreen Virtue's daily guidance angel deck have confidence moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Have confidence in God this month. You're going to need it. Now, if you're watching this in December, don't hit the thumbs. doesn't matter if you hit the thumb down. Go ahead. I don't care. Until you, It's January. This is for January. Of course, time is fluid. Okay? So this could happen any time. All right? This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this reading should not be on anybody else's channel. The next card from Archangel Michael. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation, and that is exactly what this month is about. Something is being let go of, and it is going to be a struggle. Happy New Year! Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Courage! You're going to need it. And that's why this card is, is reversed, this strength card. Because you're going to need all the courage you can muster up to get through this. I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm not going to give you a beautiful, pretty up, everything is butterflies and unicorns reading if it's not. This is a month of transformation. Trust me. It is going to lead you to something much better. Whatever is happening is a blessing in disguise. No doubt about it. So Taurus, this is what I have for you for January 2018. You know, I'm just the messenger. This is, this is a warning, okay? It's a warning. If you think somebody needs to hear I love you, say it. If you think you need to let go of something that no longer serves you, do it. Talk to you later.